Welcome to this new video on our Embedded Craft channel. In this video, we will show how to use Build Root to build Linux and create root file system. We will boot Linux kernel directly on virtual board on QEMU. And after that, we will run an application on Linux on virtual board. So, let's begin. If you want to build only Linux kernel, then watch our old video building Linux kernel for ARM board. Link to this video is given in description. So, relax and watch this video till the end. Preparation comes first. We have to install QEMU. Let us type sudo apt get install kemu system arm type y QEMU is installed. And now we have to download buildroot. For this visit buildroot.org slash download.html And you have to download buildroot-2020.02.3.tar.gz file Installation of buildroot is very simple, simply extract downloaded buildroot tar file. I have already downloaded buildroot tar file. Extracting tar file Type tar hyphen xvzf and build root. Build root is extracted. Before moving forward, we have to meet dependencies. We have to refer build root manual, available in docs folder. We are in build root directory now. cd to doc directory. CD manual directory. Let us open Nautilus in current folder. I am opening manual.pdf. Let us go to chapter 2. Going to system requirement. Here is the list of utilities required to make build root work. We have to make sure that these utilities are installed in your machine. There are bright chance that these programs are already available on your machine. We also have to install Curse. Curse's API are used to create text-based user interfaces. I am coping command and paste. Now we are good to go. First we have to create a configuration file suitable to our board. There are two options. First option is to create a new configuration file suitable to our board. For this we have to configure kernel, cross compiler and root file system. Or we can use existing available configuration file. And then we will do make and output files will be generated. Let us first see how to create your own configuration file. cd to build root folder. Type make menu config. This will open build root configuration menu. Here we can select different configurations. Let us review some important configuration options. You can enable a real-time patch which is Xenomai user space. This is a dual kernel approach and it will enable Cobalt real-time scheduler. Kernel output file format can be decided. Z image is default. And if you want to change the root user password, that is also configurable. For this video, we will use available configuration file. First we will check available configuration. Type make list hyphen def configs. Here is the list of available configuration files which are available by defaults. You can modify or create your own config file. Here are some example configuration files. You can find configuration file for BeagleBone boards. BeagleBone X15. STM32 boards files are also available. We also have an XPI.MX boards files. I.MX6 is used in medical domain. I.MX8 SOAK is used in digital cockpit and automotive. We also have configuration files for Raspberry Pi boards, Pi 0 to Pi 4. 
For this video, we will use ARM Versatile Board. And configuration file for this board is Kemu ARM Versatile Div Config. To generate configure we have to use command. Make Kemu ARM Versatile Div Config. Dot config for this board is generated. We can open this file. Just type get it dot config. Let us search versatile in this file. This is config file location. Next is device tree name. There is a lot of thing to review. Let us close this now. To start building, type make. And this will start building kernel and device tree and root file system. This will take significant time, depend on your system and internet speed. On my virtual machine it took 1 hour 30 minutes, let me pause recording now till build is complete. Now build is complete. You can find all generated files in output directory. Kernel and root file system is available in output slash image directory. Let us review generated outputs. Host side files are available into the output slash host directory. You will find cross compiler which is arm build root linux uclbc new gcc dot. Cross compiler binaries are available in output slash host slash bin directory. Sysroot is also generated, which is available in host arm build root linux uclibc new slash sysroot directory. Sysroot is the directory having headers and libraries for target. This is used in cross compilation. Target side files are available in output slash images directory. Root file system same as roots.x2. Device tree name is versatile-pb.dtb. Kernel name is image. Let us see where is our cross compiler. For this go to output slash host directory. And cd to bin directory. And here is your cross gcc compiler. Let us check version of cross gcc compiler. We have to do dot slash arm hyphen build root hyphen linux hyphen libc new aabi hyphen gcc hyphen hyphen version. So, our gcc version is 8.4.0. Now let us go to sysroot directory. cd to arm, build root, linux, uclibc, new aabi, directory. Let us go to sysroot directory. These are our target libs. sysroot is used in cross compilation. Now we will review content of output slash images directory. This is our root file system, device tree file, and kernel. Now we are ready to run Linux in Kemu. We will use direct Linux boot method in Kemu. This is mentioned in Kemu manual. Here is the command to run Linux in Kemu. Let me explain this command with graphics. Command Kemu system arm minus M will create a virtual board with 256 megabytes RAM. Hyphen kernel option will provide kernel image file. Hyphen DTB option will provide device tree binary file. Hyphen drive will provide root file system file. If is equal to SCSI means, create SCSI disk and format is equal to raw, means raw image file format. Root file system will run on SCSI disk. Hyphen append is for kernel command line argument, and kernel will find root file system in slash dev sda. Console will be ttyama0 and baud rate will be 11500. We have to add an ethernet card on board. Hyphen net nick command will add a virtual ethernet card. Model option will tell the exact network card model number. In our case it is r t l 8139. Hyphen serial option, will route content of serial port to standard I.O. port. We are now ready to boot board. 
I have created a shell script to launch QEMU. Let us open our script. Here is the script. I am going to launch it now. Great now you can see we have Linux booting. Booting embedded Linux in virtual board, may be a good idea, in the sense that, it can reduce development time. Instead of waiting for your board to come, you are free to run your code on embedded Linux on QEMU. Login is root. We now have to compile a C program to run on this Linux. To use generated compiler, we have to set environment variable path to the location of cross compiler. I have already written command for this. Let me copy it. And paste. Let us test compiler is working on not. Here is our compiler and version. Wow, we can see version number. Let us type ls. Here is our hello.c file. Let us build. Our compiler and hello.c and hyphen o hello. Hello is generated. Let us see this file type. We will use file and file name. As you can see it is ELF 32 bit executable. Which is perfect. To send it to Linux, we can place it into the root file system. For that we have to mount the root file system to somewhere in the host machine. We will make a try directory. Let us use mount command to mount root file system to try directory. ls try, and here is the all directories of root file system. Now let us copy file. sudo cp hello to try root directory. Hello executable is copied into the root directory. For unmount, type sudo amount try. Now we will boot our virtual board. It is booting. Doing root login. Here is our executable. Let us run it. Hello world is printed. We are done. After booting Linux, you could try multiple things like connect virtual board with a network and use SSH to copy application to Linux machine. For this refer QEMU documentation. With this we are going to end this session. Thanks a lot for watching our video tutorial. See you in the next session. Goodbye and take care.